Igat Gul uh, viewers today my topic is qualitative research <clears throat> first of all uh, we know what is the qualitative research qualitative research quality when we are going to measure the characteristics features and attributes of the individuals in the form of a quality is qualitative research albert einstein uh, say not everything that can be counted counts and not everything that counts can be counted okay we cannot measure everything quantitatively in a form of a quantity we can uh, we cannot count the things attributes and qualities characteristics whenever we are stuck stuck off to measuring the characteristic attributes and study phenomena in an uh, numerical values and quantity then we choose a second one options is qualitative research we measure the attributes and study phenomena in a form of a quality in a form of a characteristic in a form of a attributes extroverted introverted personality types extroverted introverted i want to measure the uh, personality types of psychosis neurotic employees uh, bank employees and uh, teachers army forces uh, men then how will measure the uh, attributes of uh, characteristics uh, and uh, personality types of these men i can apply scales but limited attributes they can just give me details about the types of the personalities but not uh, their attributes according to their personalities then i will apply the qualitative research design <clears throat> i will use uh, the projective techniques i will use uh, a suited research design and data collection method in qualitative research then make the uh, research for ev evaluating and uh, making uh, the uh, analysis and uh, measurement uh, of the uh, army forces man personality types uh, and their uh, characteristic and attributes according to their uh, personality types <clears throat> if i'm going through to know um, the uh, reasons of uh, dishonesty uh, irregularity corruption uh hypnotism in pakistan then uh my question i can uh, measure quantitatively no there is the fit albert einstein not everything that can be counted counts and not everything that counts can be counted i can't count the reasons of corruption hypnotism uh, hypocrisy dishonesty in pakistan then i will apply the qualitative research i want to measure the authority abuse in policeman another one example authority abuse in policeman there is no any scale i apply to measure the authority abuse in policeman level of the authority abuse and why a 30 abuse and what level the 30 abuse what is the consequences of the 30 then i will apply the qualitative research i can't count the 30 abuse 
A thought of yours is a characteristic, is a art review, is a quality. I can explain the uh, authority abuse, level of authority abuse in the form of a words, in the form of a statement. Uh, when I make the analysis and uh, measure the study phenomena in form of a statements in words, in attributes and characteristic is called qualitative research. And we have measured the qualities. Now there are uh, different designs, uh, I go through the qualitative research design. Qualitative research design, uh, there are different types of the qualitative research design. Uh, first of all, what is the um, research design? What is the research design? A uh, research design is a plan, strategy we follow. Uh, which moves from underlying uh, philosophical assumptions to specifying the selections of the run uh, responded the data gathering techniques to be used and the data analysis to be done a plan and strategy we apply uh, for conducting the research is called a research design Types of qualitative research designs. There are different uh, types of qualitative research design. A naturalistic and ethnography research design, historical research design, exploratory research design, action research design, case study and document analysis, interpretive research, survey, cross-sectional, longitudinal, uh, research design <coughs> a grounded theory uh, studies uh, research design case study a historical study ethnography phenological study action research design one more this is a comparative Comparison of qualitative research design and quantitative research. Qualitative research design, phenomenological, grounded theory, ethnography, and case study. Uh, quantitative, if we make the descriptive design, descriptive statistic, correlation and causal, comparative studies, experimental design, inferential statistic, validated lab. Qualitative. Research design. Major types of a qualitative research design. There are different types of the qualitative research design. Phenomenological, uh, literally the studies of the phenomena, describing situation or something that exists as part of the world. When we study the, uh, just as uh, now I am uh, talking about the, I give examples of authority abuse in policemen. This is the uh, phenomena uh, exist in, in the world. In Pakistan, mostly authority abuse is high in a uh, uh, policeman. Phenological research design. In phenological uh, research design, I was used the uh, uh, interview and will make the observation and uh, will collect the data at the stage of a saturation. Whenever we collect the data uh, by uh, interview method, observation, of the existing study phenomena is called a phenological, phenological uh, research uh, design. Mostly we collect the data by first source of an interviews, observation, interview semi-structured and uh, unstructured, not uh, questionnaire, not make the survey, not use the scales, 
and not uh, use the uh, case study method. This is called the phenomenological research design. <clears throat> Whenever you study uh, study phenomena in the world with the help of an interview and observation is phenomenological research design. Ethnography, the scientific study of human social uh, phenomena and communities involves the descriptive study of culture and people transactions and norms as they are in a specific geographical locations because every location, every geolocation of the country and the world has their different norms and their different cultures and their pathics and empathics. Ethnography study can we study the mean characteristic and attribute and qualities in the uh, in the context of the um, residing area culture in residing area community norms. Uh, that's why this called the ethnography. Ethnography uh, uh, derives to the uh, ethnic. They, uh, we study uh, in the context of a culture in different in context of different uh, racial cultures backgrounds and norms of the ethics uh, ethnic groups uh, red indians dutch black american white americans these are the ethnic groups pashtun Punjabi, Sahadi, Sindhi, the ethnic groups, Plochi, and Shia, Sunni are very ethnic groups. When we study uh, human attributes or study phenomena in the world in the context of uh, the ethnic uh, groups, culture in the ethnic groups uh, and the uh, um, communities, uh, and ethnic groups, uh, culture, and uh, norms, we uh, give the name of such type of uh, study design, ethnography research design. I require to study the human attributes and study phenomena in the community cultures and uh, in, the norm, un, in the norm of a specific geolocation, I will give this study uh, research design, the ethnography research design name. Crowded theory, uh, using empirical data without uh, preconceived theories involves the development of new theories by collecting an analysis of data about a phenomena. One study phenomena, and I'm not relying and uh, depending on the uh, previous existing theories, I want to emerge uh, the new theory on the base of my you know, on the base of our nature and uh, new collected data my objective and my aim and purpose of the study to uh, not rely on the existence theories and uh, I want to develop the new theory and want to develop the new uh, rules and regulations of the emerging of the study phenomena in the world then I will apply the grounded theory. I will develop the grounded theory on the base of the um, study phenomena collected data. Collected uh, collected data on the base of the collected data I will make the analysis and then uh, whatever are the consequences and outcome of the this analysis and whatever the themes and factors and give the name of uh, this uh, um, uh, country and uh, one uh, grounded theory name and will make a theory uh, just as uh, I want to I study my study Taliban characteristic uh, and attributes uh, Taliban ideology uh, role playing factors was a qualitative study and I apply grounded theory I collect a lot of the a secondary source of knowledge used um, biography, bibliography, interviews, recorded interviews, uh, dissertations, uh, previous uh, dissertations and articles, uh, journal, magazines, uh, uh, also scientific sources of the knowledge, books, and uh, make the uh, 3,000 according 
in the base of the nature of the uh, text give codings and make the factors and then evaluate what type of the factors are involving in a development of the ideology of the um, uh, Taliban's then I give name of my uh, grounded theory uh, psychosocial theory psychosocial theories of Taliban ideology develop when we are going to uh, make the theory and uh, want to make a theory on the base of the natural existence study phenomena collected data and not rely on the previous uh, existing theories then uh, this uh, type of the research uh, um, used grounded theory research design case study in depth study of a particular situation or an intensive analysis on one individual unit and organization hancock 1998 May in 1998 uh, you give the definition case study you take the one case case of the organization case of the one individual uh, and you deeply uh, study of that uh, um, I take as a case of the KPK I will case uh, take the uh, different cases of uh, um, to KPK for uh, uh, checking, uh, for uh, measuring, uh, evaluating the uh, teaching uh, skills and uh, students' mental health, or uh, I'm going to to checking the uh, bribery, corruption in KPK. I take K as a case study or uh, one KPK. And we'll take the cases to different departments uh, of uh, KPK and we'll uh, study in depth. This is the case study. And one more uh, I want to uh, study, want to study the schizophrenic. There are the schizophrenic characteristic and attributes. And one I am interested in uh, to measuring the characteristic and attributes of the schizophrenic in uh, uh, Pakistan. Or in a KPK, then I will uh, take uh, uh, if KPK to different KPK hospitals. I will take the case studies as a case study one schizophrenic patients and will make that study of this individual or this one case. Then this will call the case study research design. Interpretive. I am interested to. Here is not writing interpretive. There is a lot of the other uh, mm, research design interpretive analysis. I am interested in interpreting one uh, uh, studying phenomena and I want to measure um, the study phenomena, existence study phenomena. Uh, then uh, I will use the interpretive analysis. Uh, um, research design narrative case study uh, uh, discover analysis grounded to the phenomenological ethnographic and uh, grounded to narrative or interpretive are the same one more uh, research design narrative you know very well to uh, the name of the narrative to narrations to the statements I use interview and secondary data to the uh, make the analysis uh, of the narrations and interviews and statements of the persons uh, to make the uh, measurement uh, study phenomena in the existence world with the help of the uh, statements and narrations uh, secondary or no, uh, uh, primary uh, interview or observations uh, uh, method Yes, uh, research design is called narrative. Discourse analysis. Make the analysis of existing study phenomena or uh, uh, merging uh, problem in the world with the help of a uh, discourse analysis. I make the analysis of uh, collected data or uh, different type of uh, whatever I used uh, uh, data of the collection method and make the uh, analysis and give them uh, measurement 
give the uh, conclusions and report about studying existence study phenomena is uh, discourse um, discourse uh, analysis now there is uh, the process of uh, what is the process of uh, qualitative research uh, qualitative uh, uh, research uh, mm, exists historical I forget and that's why I'm searching uh, historical researches and when we uh, measure the existence study phenomena from past events to past history to past uh, happenings is called historical study research design Systematic collection and objective evaluation of data related to past occurrence in order to test hypotheses co or concerning cases, effects, or trends of these events they, that may help to explain present events and uh, anticipate future events. Uh, give the uh, we study past uh, events and uh, give the explanations and about the present. Uh, mm, situation for making a effective layout and plan for the future is uh, historical when we study uh, past events and history for uh, uh, making the study of me uh, for uh, studying the um, existing study phenomena in the world is historical now uh, common quantitative research tools, uh, semi-structured interviews, word association, um, observation, thematic appreciation, objective uh, techniques, we use objective techniques, we use interviews, we use is case studies, we use contextual data, scanty source of the knowledge, journal, magazine, article, dissertations, and newspapers, uh, mm, uh, journal articles, and observation record uh, notes and describe observ uh, observed events, uh, types of approach, category, ethno. Graphy, grounded theory and case study observation method just I have explained before in observation method uh, observation method we use in ethnography I explain uh, during the explaining of ethnography grounded theory and case, st uh, case studies and uh, <coughs> key advantages of the observation can be uh, in in obstressive and can yields actual uh, behavior partners uh, Mm, there is the reactivity and uh, disadvantages of disadvantages of uh, uh, the observation can be very uh, expensive and uh, with participant observes uh, observer uh, side effects also is existence of the side effects is there serious observer serious what are the advantages of uh, semi structured interviews? Open it, uh, parties, this open ended uh, questionnaires often in written and uh, also for short answers, type answers, and uh, from respondents used in grounded theory and ethnography semi structured interview. Uh, semi structured interview as well in a phenological can address uh, more specific uh, issues, results can be easily interpreted, cost advantages over focus groups and depth interview and lack the uh, flexibility, disadvantage of that uh, and uh, produce uh, creative and uh, um, most uh, expensive. Now what is a session? or sentence complete objective type uh, evaluation your um, objectives uh, type scale subjective uh, sorry subjective uh, scale of uh, psychology records the first thoughts that comes to uh, consumer or uh, participants the same like free association of the fact 
we must use in grounded theory and case studies economically can be done quickly. Uh, this type of uh, qualitative research is very easiest. Uh, I've, I used uh, word association data method. Data collection method is economical, uh, less uh, expensive and uh, not uh, too much time consuming and very uh, quickly. And what is the disadvantage like the reliability, uh, less reliability produce uh, truly creative and uh, novel explanations. Colleagues, respondent that uh, there uh, belongs to the respondent thoughts and feelings be used mostly in phenomenological and grounded theory. This not allow uh, in depth uh, uh, insight and highly depend on the disadvantage, highly depend on the researcher uh, interpretation of the colleagues. Thematic appreciation, uh, TAT, research provides uh, an ambiguous pictures and respondent uh, gives the, um, tells the story about that unambiguous pictures. Mostly we use in grounded theory and phenomenological research designs. And advantages project allows to go uh, at stimulus issues and flexible. We get the uh, uh, we get give the stimulus uh, or unambiguous stimulus of the uh, participants stimulate and they give us the uh, unconscious response. Uh, this is based on the fried uh, theory. Uh, psychoanalytical theory, unconscious style. This is a flexible and uh, this one advantage is high dependent on the researcher's interpretation. Subjectivity uh, means uh, just as subjectivity is higher in uh, qualitative research is uh, same like that. Uh, thematic uh, appreciations and when we use the projective techniques for the data collection TAT, HDF, house three percent three. TAT, CAT, uh, uh, your participants write the um, stories for you and you make the analysis on the base of their interpreting of their stories, uh, you uh, make the analysis. It is very highly dependent on the interpreter and researcher that you are high uh, level of the uh, subjectivity. It's very hard to uh, manage uh, everything of the qualitative research in a one video, but how possibly I uh, explain and uh, will make another one video for you peoples uh, for uh, different uh, perspectives of the and different uh, stages or phases of the qualitative research for explaining. Comparison and quantitative and qualitative research. Parameters, quantitative research and qualitative research. Parameters of quantitative research, general nature, knowledge of the study and variable. Quantitative research uh, object approach to seek precise measurement in numerical form. And variables are clearly understood and defined in advance by the researcher. In quantitative research, we define our objectives in before conducting the research and measure in a form of the numbers and counting counts and uh, a numerical form. Variables are very clearly in advance uh, by the researcher and make the hypothesis. And in quantitative, qualitative, subjective approach, uh, to seek in depth, describe in narrative form. We use subjective approaches uh, just as TAT, as a CAT, interview, observation, secondary data, uh, case histories, and previous past even this and that, blah blah, for making the depth uh, uh, case study, uh, for making depth evaluation of the existing study phenomena in the world in qualitative research. Researchers may have only rough idea about variables in the advance. 
just as the main uh, uh, comparison of qualitative and quantitative in qual quantitative uh, you make the objective uh, hypothesis and you are clear about your uh, study variables uh, before uh, conducting a research and you uh, make the hypothesis and but in a qualitative research you have no idea you make not you just give a few questions about qualitative research assumptions you assume some things and you have not um, specifically uh, precise uh, um, hypothesis about your study phenomena because on the base of the nature and on the base of the collected data uh, you uh, make uh, the analysis and consequences and give the report just in grounded theory you give the grounded theory and in some, in some sort of the uh, qualitative research is enough uh, uh, researchers and, and give a hypothesis when they conduct uh, conduct the research and make a depth evaluation and depth uh, study of uh, the study uh, for existing study phenomena in the world uh, then they give grounded uh, they give theory they give um, con uh, con they give findings uh, reports and they at the end, uh, some researchers give hypothesis as well. Qualitative research and quantitative research, advantages and disadvantages. Advantages, quantitative can measure very easily and we count the things, can statistical test theories, uh, disadvantages not provide in depth explanation of findings, only test predetermined question, I determine questions, I determine objectives, I determine hypothesis, I will prove and disprove, I, I am limited, limited on my predetermined questions, predetermined objectives and predetermined hypothesis, I am limited to prove and disprove and qualitative qualitative research can inform a poor, uh, poorly mm, understood uh, subject area can provide explanation and reasons for behavior cannot measure uh, disadvantage uh, cannot measure or estimate the incident cannot generalize findings uh, to wide population uh, because uh, we mostly uh, qualitative uh, sampling is uh, take uh, uh, in uh, very short numbers because uh, uh, this is the depth evaluation and depth uh, measurement you are very hard to uh, study uh, the large number of population and we cannot when we not uh, um, represent the large number of population we cannot generalize on the large number of population if I'm uh, taking the uh, samplings to large number of population I can um, uh, generalize and apply uh, uh, the uh, large number of population uh, this is the limitations of the quantitative such and uh, qualitative uh, research and cannot measure or estimate uh, incidents incidents uh, I can't measure it in uh, because not numerical values measurement in depth evaluation explanations of the year whenever we have we are stuck of uh, in measuring in the attributes behavior interest and study when women uh, in uh, numerical values then we use the qualitative uh, research for measuring the uh, uh, characteristic attributes and study phenomena, existence study phenomena of the world in a form of a quality and in a form of a, a depth uh, study of uh, attributes, human attributes and behavior and interest uh, in a uh, form of a, um, characteristic attributes and statements and words. Uh, this is the major and uh, one more. Uh, advantage and disadvantages of the uh, qualitative and quantitative. Quantitative research is uh, high reliable, valid, and uh, uh, general, general reliability is high, reliability is high, validity is high, objectivity is high, and uh, quantitative qualitative research subjectivity is high, biasness is high, uh, and uh, discrimination, any type of the discrimination is high and um, there is a less reliability less uh, validity and less general liability but advantages of qualitative research depth to representations of the target population their study of the uh, existence study phenomena and give true uh, uh, accurate um, representations and th thoughts and feelings of the one uh, person 
uh, yes, when we quantify mixed method and we quanti we, uh, we if we quantify the qualitative research, it averages then uh, quantitative for uh, new study phenomena, for new study phenomena, for new study phenomena, and for new emerging uh, issues and problems and uh, uh, trends in the uh, consumer trends just uh, and uh, latest behavior of the uh, people about the psychotic and uh, psychological um, patients mm, just as in Pakistan society tagging and um, now is uh, emerging new behaviors and trends about the psychological uh, patients so study by can depthly deeply study and uh, truly and accurate measurement can to do with the help of a qualitative research Quali how does it differ from qualitative uh, research qualitative and quantitative uh, I'm I'm uh, my current topic is uh, comparison I make comparison or uh, advantages of the disadvantages now I make comparison uh, differently culturally qualitative research culturally and uh, quantitative individually you will take to individually to uh, different participants and different respondent to uh, mm, individually uh, questions and survey and whatever else is the uh, scale you are using representative 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 expert framework prob probabilistic framework expert give the framework of the study and yes probabilistic probability of the chance how much chance of the accuracy on the base of probability we say a hundred percent thousand percent chance of accuracy of the result there will be difference in the two group uh, male uh, mental health will be higher and low uh, female mental health will be lower saturation mode statistical mode we get the data on the bit of a saturation and we make the uh, codings and at the bits of the saturation like in statistical model if I collect data to 10 percent then I can Statist can use statistical uh, technique and find out uh, the results. Analytical, statistical generalization, make the analysis, thematic analysis, contextual analysis, but we use statistical technique, now our T test, uh, regression, hierarchical regression, uh, different uh, non uh, parametric statistical technique, and generalize on the population. Focus on consensus, consensus uh, with variation and describe. Jo, we, whatever we get the consensus and uh, whatever we get the results describes with variation. And central data is statistical representing. Thus, just statistical in form of a numerical numbers in the form of a numerical member and by with the help of a different statistical technique we represent the uh, uh, our uh, results in a demographical form or in a tabulation form of uh, independent t-test, dependent t-test, sample, one sample t-test uh, and um, ANOVA, two way ANOVA, one way ANOVA, repeated mayor ANOVA uh, uh, with the uh, parametric statistical technique uh, may, uh, de demonstrate and represent with the help of a tabulation method of statistical results but in a quantitative we uh, whatever we conclude and whatever the consequences and what are the consensus uh, we uh, represent with the help of uh, uh, statements and uh, uh, words uh, with, uh, uh, with the variations and with the the help of a committee approach different codings and uh, factors uh, uh, mm, lot of the variety is there no just uh, specific fixed limited uh, uh, yes and no and uh, accepted and rejected and is not there I accept this hypothesis on the base of uh, um, type 1 and type 2 on the base of a uh, mm, statistical uh, 
probability p as uh, value of the significance of p and not there is same like that there we accept no uh, matter of the exception and rejections we just uh, explain study uh, phenomena on uh, with the f description and evaluation of the study phenomena existence study phenomena Uh, so qualitative research uh, is my favorite research is very good for making the uh, findings uh, and evaluations of the existence study phenomena in uh, depth i mostly prefer qualitative research in my career uh, for uh, making um, for conducting the research on my st for my students or for myself as well i prefer qualitative research I explain qualitative research and with lot of the other information and then uh, you will get uh, inshallah next video about the process of qualitative research and data collection methods. Thank you very much uh, for sparing your time uh, for learning of qualitative research. You must subscribe to uh, YouTube channel.